Hey, wake up, Mario. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to disturb you. Hello, everybody. I'm the awesome Yajimbo. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So, uh, in the last episode, we went through the jungle and gave a bob -omb who got gave Bobbery the soda. And please don't please don't make anything out of that. And we got him in our party, and he's also and he's also one of the best party members in the entire game. And Probably spoilers, but who cares? He's also the last party member we're, we're going to be able to get. So we have every, everybody in the game for our party. So now we have to talk to this guy because we, he has that red skull gem that we need to take all the way back to the entrance. Back, all the way back to the entrance of the cave so that we can start looking for the... Start looking for the crystal star. I'm very scatterbrained right now because it's been a little while, but I will... Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and finish this uh, dialogue box, and I'll get back to it. I'm pretty sure I could have lived the rest of my life without knowing that, but what? it's better than what most people are probably thinking. You don't say! Oh, gee, may maybe it's like finding out that sand is tre that quicksand is treacherous, only to have an exposition fairy say it's treacherous, even though you can pretty much figure it out how to use it yourself, or being a being told how to use a cannon, even though you can probably figure it out yourself because the controls are so simple. Also, I think that toad run running the store is plotting something evil. I can definitely see that you're the popular one here. <laughs> well, I lied when I said he was that that Bobbery was the last one of the party. Hey, how you doing? Oh yeah, I'll let you know what I find. Okay, so I okay, so I gotta explain myself a little bit, I suppose. Uh. I haven't been doing a lot of Let's Play, playing it like I should, as it's the christening of me having to do Let's Plays for you guys for your sake, for your entertainment. And if you consider this entertainment, then you probably need, then you probably need to sit, reflect back on your life, life choices. And well, I figured this would be a good time to talk about what I meant by that. Is that? Uh, how do I put this? Well, my Elgato Game Capture HD has been rather finicky as of late. I, I really don't know why. And, come on, come on. Yeah, same place, bro. But, okay, so I don't know what's happening, but it, it's, it's just been it's just been acting really finicky, and I, I honestly can't explain why. But... But uh, it made it well. Okay, well it still works, but it it's just that the audio does cut has been cutting out a lot fr recently, as I'm pretty sure you guys can already tell by that in a couple episodes where the audio has already cut out, and the audio is probably being cut out by right now anyway. But I really can't. Okay, so I can't. But what I mean by finicky, it still works. But it screws up on me a lot more than a normal than normal, and that like once in a blue moon, that some of my recordings will be super buggy, super buggy and shorter than normal, like or the audio might be out of sync. My computer is not the strongest in the world, but it is strong enough to get it to do what I need it to do. Okay. So don't pull any any of your PC Master Race cards out of your pants just yet. Mm. Mm, yeah, excuse me. Sorry, I just ate before I did this. Because I don't know, it just helps. It just helps me focus more, or something. But it all. But it also, you know what? Never mind. Uh, what? What else? But oh yeah. So the audio will either be. It, it, I don't want it. I don't want the courage shell. I never use it. I mean, it's probably pretty useful during the final boss. I don't want to fight you. I was originally going to do a fast-forward montage, but but since I have some 
explaining to do, I, fi I figured it would be a good time to, as any to go ahead and do it. And this also does extend the time enough, so that way I can do what I need to do. But there is one part of the Let's Play where I'm going to have to abuse the fast forward gimmick. Oh, oh yeah, and you remember that one episode where I played the Kirby Planet Robobot music and it had the fast forward? I actually just figured that out. And since I use like Adobe Premiere, ouch, since I use Adobe Premiere and I did not watch any of the tutorial videos, I actually just taught, I, I'm actually self-taught on how to make countdown videos. Well, one target's better than none, right? Uh, oh yeah, well, so, okay, so I need to say, exp explain what I, also, instances, I may have mentioned this before, but sometimes the video will also be like a minute shorter than it's supposed to be, and it'll be super buggy and the audio will be out of sync. This has happened like once or twice while in the middle of playing Twilight Princess HD, but I mentioned this before, there was also an instance where I was playing Yoshi's Woolly World before I was working on my top 15 games I played in 2015, which I'm not going to finish, by the way, as sad as that is. Uh, there was a, where I was in, like, World 5, that's, that's the, ju that's the jungle world, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it is. I was in the middle of playing it, and, uh, Hmm. Gotta concentrate sometimes. I was in the middle of playing it, and I recorded like an hour's worth of footage, and I got to like the ice world, and I had, and I ended up converting the video, and the video was at it was like an hour and ten minutes. The vi the converted video actually ended up being like five, like ten minutes, and it was just su it was just a super buggy mess, and. That's the only time it has ever messed up that bad on me. And you know what that means? I had to do the entire segment all over again. And it's even more frustrating because the game has an autosave feature. At least I think it does. And that's w that's why I have to make multiple save files for whenever I record stuff. And that's why I made a separate save file for this game. Which I completely forgot to copy over. So if I, so if I die, well, you can go ahead and... You can go ahead and send your angry hate mail or whatever you want. All you want. I feel the, I feel you guys. T I hear you guys tapping tapping your fingers on the keyboard. Like, oh my gosh, how how could you be so bad at this game? It takes a special skill to be really bad at video games. Let's go. Let's just go ahead and say that. Uh, how about we do a heart attack? Because because I I was gonna save this for the boss, but this would be a good time to pull it off. Okay, so the gimmick with this is you gotta draw a circle around your opponents, and the more circles you draw consecutively, but that the more damage you can rack up. And if you draw perfect circles around the opponent, the damage racks up really fast. Well, I guess battling is also is always really good. So, en enough about my depressing stories of why I haven't been been doing less plays. I but all but in but I will say this if it if it so happens that 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 this episode ends up being poor recorded, then it, well, you know why as to why I haven't been doing it because the Elgato has been messing up. It works once in a while. But it's been working especially bad on Princess. Like, like converting doesn't really take that long. Like, like three to five minutes or something like that. Usually they've been taking up to an hour. So if you don't, per in perfect condition for some friggin' reason, and I, I honestly couldn't explain it even though I tried. But enough of that. So let's go ahead and heal. I really need to heal. Those things really make this game a little too easy. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I'll go ahead and tell you after the after this cutscene. I love exposition. No duh. 
let's plunge into the, this puzzle. I'm going to go back over here and re and read my Calvin and Hobbes book. That is actually hiding a copy of Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, keep that in mind, guys. That's... Because that is actually very important to this part, this part of the let's play, this this part of the we have. Okay, so okay then. Never mind. Is it? Oh, you don't say, Bobbery. I'm pretty sure I could have figured that out myself, even though I clearly didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, how about you give me a rock? Duh. Some Chocola Cola. Maybe just produce a burp so powerful it implodes the universe. Like in that one Garfield panel where he drinks too much soda and and his house explodes or something like that. Big Garfield fan of me. I've often been called considered like the human version of Garfield because we both love lasagna. That's like one of that's like Stouffer's lasagna, meat sauce. That stuff is that stuff is delicious. Okay, so what we have to do? You remember the song? Well, it plays part into what what this what this is. Hit ground pound three times, hammer four times. There we go. Plain and simple. E even a baby chimpanzee can figure it out. That's not an insult. I'm terribly sorry. Don't write anymore. Okay, and then we just have to chuck them in here. Blow the entrance to Kingdom Come. All right, just gotta. Sorry, just adjusting. My chair is very, very squeaky. Well, what was I supposed to do? What if removing it suddenly caused the hatch to close? You think of that? And my patience for Paper Mario Sticker Star has no has has absolutely no limits whatsoever. Has a limit to it at all. Yeah, in case anybody didn't, in case it didn't bring it up before, I don't like Sticker Star. Actually, what am I saying? Nobody likes that game. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's only one person who likes likes that game. One person who likes Blaze Blue simply for the story. I'm not going to say it because I probably should have copied this over, which I forgot, completely forgot to do, so if this ends up screwing me over, I am terribly sorry, and if I have to play through it again, I'm going to be very, very salty. Uh, oh, oh, Gumbella, Gumbella, come on. Okay, so, talking about it. Sticker Star, I played that game I because I got it for like 10 to $15 on Black Friday, like like three years ago, I played it and I immediately stopped playing after I beat the second world. It's the only Paper Mario game I haven't finished. Uh, ignore the chickens, because th there's a lot of chickens outside. I have way too many chickens and a pet turkey. I probably mentioned that uh, like um, half a billion times. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, come on. It you joker. Cinder. Now we, now we just gotta fight Cinder's armpit hair. For a few thousand years. But hey, with the badges I have equipped, I can not. Uh, okay, never mind. Come on, Coops. Uh, because, well, okay, so Sticker Star, that game's just so gimmicky and it's really boring. It's not interesting, it's not fun. It's all. It's also got the least enjoyment. If you can, if you actually like that game, then please write in the description as to how you can tolerate that game because I certainly don't know how how you can tolerate. It. It's also my least favorite Mario game as a whole, and my least favorite Mario spinoff. Uh, and as of the time I'm recording this, uh, Paper Mario Color Splash has also come out, and I haven't played it yet, and I'm probably not going to. But I do have a good friend. I do have a friend who wants to play it, and he says he'll probably get it. 
So I'm probably going to borrow it from him, but I have to ask. Right after these messages, before I screw up. Come on. Uh, gotta focus. For anybody who has played Stick, play Paper Mario Color Splash, is it better than Sticker Star? Because I read an early review saying that it was. Uh, 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 mm. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Yes! How do you like me now, Internet? Uh. So, is Color Splash any good? Should I should I get it? Should should I should I get it? It's like a scenario of like somebody who was severely disappointed with uh, Sticker Star. Oh yeah. Also, if if I didn't like Sticker Star, am I gonna like this game? Because because that's the thing I'm worried about the most. Because. Uh, ah! oh, oh, okay. That's like so nerve-wracking. But yeah, write in the comments if you played Color Splash, then I would very much like to hear what you guys think of it. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah, so equip the badges. And that's the sound effect it makes. Man, freaking tastic. And these th and these things only give you one EXP. You had one job, Bullet Bill. One job. Uh, what else? That, oh, gosh dang it, this is gonna be so bad for me. But, yeah, it's so satisfying we can definitely block that. Okay, seriously, what the heck was I talking about? Well, thanks, but I can't collect it because I don't have any... Because I don't have any room. But, I guess I can also... Uh, one thing I'd also like to say, uh, Resident Evil 4 Remastered has been remastered on PS4. You are such a bad aim. Uh, I played it like three years ago, and, you know, I actually like that game. It's easily my favorite Resident Evil game, but it's also the only one I finished. So I can't really say much about that, so there you go. Uh, but, but yeah, I definitely understand why the game is so popular, and I do think the game has aged pretty well, but and it's, like, it's like Ocarina of Time, and it's been remastered like a, a bazillion, zillion times. And understandably so, it is a good game. Though I gotta say, the one, the one problem I have with... I'm such a terrible drawer. I would not make it in this world as an artist. Come on. Come on, one more hit. Yes. Okay. But there's only one problem I have with that game, and that game and that is the instant death quick time events, and they can be very, very frustrating, especially since they come straight out of nowhere. But the one version I played was the PS2 version. At least up till now. In which case, I have the PS4 version, but I'm waiting for a specific time to actually play it. And, of course, uh... Uh, it's... Like, ha Halloween. Halloween's here, so... I probably dated the episode even more by saying that. Uh, hmm. Ugh. Excuse me. Just a little... Still a little sleepy. But, hmm. Crap, I just lost track of what I was trying to say. Oh yeah, so it's Halloween, and I don't normally do this, I, but I have decided to play the game... Pl to play a game that seems very appropriate for Halloween, which... Like a scary game like Dead Space or Resi Evil 4. Uh, right now, I'm playing through Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Oh, piss. This is gonna be really bad for me. Alright, so... Well, hey, at least I can do that. And I just have to use the hammer, not screw this up, and then I'm good to go. Uh, so, yeah, scary games. I'm playing through Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. For those of you who don't know, it's supposed... It's like a... Like a Resident Evil... Classic Resident Evil clone on the, on the GameCube. 
with the, like this sanity. It has like similar controls, but it has like this uh, sanity meter. Oh. Uh, it has like the sanity meter. The more monsters you encounter, your sanity goes down by a little bit for each time you. And uh, lots of. Lots of messed up crap. Lots of messed up shit happens in that game. Let's just say that for sure. Like. Like your sanity. The lower your sanity goes, more stuff that happens. And it, some. And it will definitely mess with you. Not so much. Mm, excuse me. Not to mention, I also find it really... I also like the fact that it doesn't throw the same stuff at you each and every single time. Like, it, it keeps... it just keeps on adding new stuff. Like, sometimes the game will actually turn the volume down. Or, like, blood drips from the, drips from the walls when it shouldn't be. And, or... Hmm. That, huh? Wait, I can get that with a ground pound, can I? Uh. Um. Okay, I'm at a loss for words. I really don't remember what to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy, and that's the last of this ep- that- uh, the last of this episode. Uh, also, like, a bunch of- like, all the weird stuff that happens, it- it was just- it re it really does screw it really does screw with you. Even though most of the scares have already been spoiled, like the turning the volume down, I already knew about that. <coughs> Did I seriously just mess that up? I'm not gonna mess it up a second time. Other otherwise I'm gonna otherwise I'm gonna have to leave YouTube and everyone's gonna have to unsubscribe from my channel and not watch my videos anymore. Even though a lot of people are probably going to watch my Platinum Games video, even though that's like my most popular video yet. Dang it. But, oh, it looks like we're out of time, unfortunately. So, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the, ne in the next episode. Take care.